Okay, that's me over here this time. Normally I'm in the bottom of the totem pole, but I'm this time I'm over on the side. And um, and below me, for the very first time in living memory, is our good friend <laughs> Forrest, who's from the UK. And um, and our guest, well, I've got to say, take it away, Andrina, and you shed the light, mate. <laughs> Well, welcome everybody to Dreaming the New Dream. And if anybody's listening um, to the replay, today is the 4th of August, 2022. And welcome. And it's my greatest pleasure and privilege to have the lovely Dr. Sandra Rose Michael on our show. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for agreeing to come on the show. Um, I don't know where to start. I've got lots of questions and um I haven't been to one of your centres yet, um, and I know you haven't got one in the UK, and I know you've got the EE systems, um, which a lot of people don't know what they are, and I've put up photos asking people, do you know what this is? So um, where do we start? So let's start at the beginning. You were you are born in Vegas, and I know that you oh, were... No. I'm just oh, in Vegas yeah. now. <laughs> I beg your pardon. You're born um, in America. I'm not a Vegas person at all. <laughs> um, yeah, you were born in America and you were born to, I believe, very gifted parents that were scientists. So would you like to share how your journey started, how you've come to bring these amazing machines to humanity? Because I know they're they're traveling all around the world now and i know it's your gift to be of service to humanity and you're making the greatest changes so uh, please share how it all started well it all started <laughs> <laughs> actually it all started when my parents met in engineering physics <laughs> at Ohio i was gonna go there i thought it was gonna be a firm joke yeah <laughs> You know, so, uh, yeah, my mother, a nuclear physicist, um, and my dad, the aerospace, electrical, mechanical, structural, air, you know, engineer, both hyper geniuses. And, uh, <laughs> and then it all started. It's kind of a, a bad joke on my mother, I think, <laughs> because, <laughs> because uh, her mother told her if she douched on her wedding night, she wouldn't get pregnant. <laughs> Uh, so she was working on the bomb, fissioning plutonium in the labs, very, very top secret, right? Fissioning plutonium on the labs, working on the bomb the whole time she was pregnant with me. <laughs> Got me instead. <laughs> so kind of the mad scientist stuck on mad because then it was all my fault somehow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that was my fault, but <laughs> that Project Manhattan you're talking about in New Mexico. <laughs> uh, yeah. Actually, she was at Battelle Labs. All oh, right, okay. Yeah, in Ohio. Uh, so, and my, you know, so my dad, the aeronautical engineer, he, you know, my mom's working on the bomb, fissioning plutonium. I know radiation literally from the inside out. I remember it all vividly, by the way. I remember the labs and watching her and all that stuff. And, um, and of course, then it's all my fault that she didn't become this great research scientist because she was, <laughs> she really loved doing what she was doing. Uh, and then, you know, with my dad, he was working on, you know, Mach 3 and stealth bombers and, and I come in going, how do we heal all this? How do we bring healing to all of this? And so and it was a little different. I, from the time I could talk, I was literally talking about, uh, you know, the mad Atlantean scientists and the abuse of power. And I was still pissed about it, literally. I mean, <laughs> maybe that's the wrong term. <laughs> yeah. But... <laughs> Um, but yeah, I was still very upset about it. So guess what I chose as parents? They were like mad Atlantean scientists. <laughs> and, and uh, you know, very still upset about the abuse of power because that's the most parallel time to where we are right now. Mm -hmm. All the same things, all the uh, abuse of scalar technologies, the 
you know, mind control, weaponry, but, uh, chimeras and, and working on, you know, the, the um, hijacking of the DNA and all the mind control stuff. And, and you know, just, you know, just a sense of commission as far as abuse of power. And mm -hmm. very, very vivid memories of being, you know, um, high priestess in the healing temples and trying to stop all of it. <laughs> so it's very much a, a parallel time. And so then that really ties into what we're doing now because we're kind of using Atlantean technology <laughs> to create the counterpoint mm -hmm. to all the abuse of that technology, using, you know, to override it with a higher power, the power of love. Literally. So, but I grew up, uh, you know, everything was a science project. Everything. You know, my parents, I mean, Mensa, you know, so, um, and so I did all my, the top secret government science projects as a child, wow. you know, levitating things and with magnets and, uh, you know, but uh, transducers and receivers and circuit boards and Tesla coils, of course. <laughs> Lots of Tesla coils and always making different coils to do different things with different substances. And anyway, but I thought everybody's favorite toys were my my favorite toys. Geiger counters and gyroscopes. Yeah. <laughs> I had collections of them. OK. <laughs> and and growing up on a farm because born in Columbus, Ohio, Ohio State University thing where my parents met. But I uh, grew up on a farm and, um, you know, with, and trying to heal all the animals, you know. And so it was a very interesting combination of, of, of a childhood where, you know, um, with the Mensa side of things, I was reading encyclopedias cover to cover by third grade. So, um, you know, I just wanted all the information and hold my hands up and watch how the energy would go through. With you know, with because I saw everything as this combination of engineering, you know, mechanical, structural, electrical, engineering, and physics, and and so that's biophysics, right? And when you have between your hands, that's applied biophysics. Really, I see everything as energy. <laughs> so so I came in a little different with those memories of past lives and all this and and born in the bloodline of Martin Luther. So that whole Lutheran thing. So I came in very, very spiritual and into a very religious family, <laughs> you know, and, and seeing the hypocrisy of that, but also the gift of Martin Luther, because I read that Bible six times cover to cover by the time I was 12. Oh, gosh. <laughs> You know, we were really into, you know, he was really into that reading of it. And, um, you know, of course, we're getting all the all the understandings in between. But also, by the time I was 12, I had every translation I could find. I had, you know, I, I would study all the entomology and, and what they translated. How, it was like, how in the world did they translate that to that? And I'm, I was studying it, <laughs> analyzing it, <laughs> actually actually so that was part of uh, my background so it's a little you know it's a little different background for things and <laughs> just a little hey <laughs> but you obviously, you've obviously chose you, you like chose your parents and you've come in as a very gifted person um <laughs> to make masses of changes all around the world so yeah uh, very much here on purpose, on yeah. a mission, sent, very clear on that. Except as a kid, I was going, let me out of here. These people haven't been my parents a single past life. These people are crazy. <laughs> you know, a genius and insanity thing. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> know it intimately. <laughs> and, you know, so let me out of here. And I'd be up in the grid looking down on the planet. And they'd, I'd be sent back. I'm going, but where's my temples? I think I made a wrong turn. <laughs> where's Hawaii? I, you know, I'm in the middle of Ohio. What happened? <laughs> I made a really wrong turn here. <laughs> yeah, I think there's, there's a few of us that say that we've been dropped off on the wrong planet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, uh, but a lot of information that I was always aware of and, you know, promise coming in this, you know, 
you know, about this new heaven and a new earth. And we're here to, through us. Mm. And that's what we're here for. We're here to walk the planet as the fully realized God, goddess, sons and daughters of God. <laughs> you know, Christ said everything he did and more were to do. You know, and that all things are possible to he that believes, right? So to think anything's impossible is a sin. It means off track, out of alignment. <laughs> everything is on purpose because yeah, I wouldn't be able to do everything I was here for without <laughs> every single thing I went through. Yeah. Because it's on purpose. It's doing the homework so we can fulfill our highest purposes. And I needed that homework in this life. <laughs> not just the past life stuff. <laughs> and uh, so it's been a very interesting journey. So by the time I was in high school, yeah, I was, uh, you know, I tested above 99th percentile on the, I don't know if you have those tests, ACT and SAT, the college testings and all that kind of stuff. So um, it very, you know, very interesting. In 1971 is when I started and I tested top in the state in Ohio in Latin, Latin, yeah. <laughs> very good for science, but also for all the root language uh, too of that. But I'd sit in the class and be just remembering my past life with it, <laughs> you know, where I spoke Latin, <laughs> you know, oh. things like that. So I tested uh, top in the state in Latin, English, and math. And so, uh, and, but then 1971 is when I started into chiropractic, reflexology, nutrition, Ayurveda. I spent eight years studying uh, Sanskrit and the Vedas. And that's your, your best books. Uh, the very best books on physics is the Vedas. The, uh, yeah, that's the Sanskrit and the Vedas. That's written down over 5,000 years ago. So it's mm -hmm. very, very interesting material to study, really. And so we started into all that. And, um, and then I was running a power management equipment company besides running spas. And um, I built my first scalar healing light chamber in 1978. But really, I'm a hands on healer. <laughs> I understand it and because I see everything as that energy and the physics. And, but you can see how chiropractic would also be structural, mechanical. <laughs> And electrical engineering, right? <laughs> because the circuits all go through the spine. You know, all the nerves run through the spine. The and, and the basic principle is the power that made the body heals the body. The power that made the body heals the body. And I, I kind of saw myself as jumper cables, but, but I built my first scalar healing light chamber in <clears throat> 1978 because I took some of that power management equipment and I did all these experiments and research. And I had um, studied Rife and, and radionics and photonics and all that kind of stuff in earlier in the 70s as well. So my first scalar healing light chamber was in, built in my spa in Monroeville, Pennsylvania, of all places, <laughs> you know, outside of Pittsburgh. <laughs> <laughs> that was seeing total miracles with people with that, but it was only one person at a time. You know, mm -hmm. so there's only so much you can do. Um, and I had material from NASA and I had all these different and the power management equipment and, and the, the, the geometries and the special lights. Cause I'd studied all arts work on the importance of light with the body. And, and really it goes to the DNA is biophotonic. You know, the, the core of the DNA is the light, the stuff from the stars. We are bodies of light, literally beings of light. And the prime function of DNA is the storage of photons. So we were seeing all these miracle he healings back in 1978 with that, but one person at a time. But amazing things like, you know, like, and, and realize we can't make any, you know, it's illegal to heal, fix, or cure anything. So we cannot make those claims. Mm -hmm. However, what, what I, we saw was reversals of leukemia and lupus and cancers. And because the power that made the body heals the body. And when the body has the right energy, 
but has the right ingredients and you know the, you know there isn't anything the body doesn't want to heal because it is a divine design the um, infinite innate intelligence of the body so uh so, so it goes back to that and then i was recognized as like one of the top healers on the planet so uh the technology then came from literally listening cell by cell to more than 10,000 bodies, <laughs> you know, the hands-on healer, <laughs> and understanding the body as a condensation of consciousness. The body holds the memories of every thought, every experience we've ever been through, this life, past lives, and genetically. And I tell people, too, I mean, whether you believe in past lives or not, there have been a lot of past lives on the planet, <laughs> You know, and that's all in the memory, in the DNA. It's, you know, it's tremendous informational fields that we have access to. So, you know, let's call forth all that wisdom rather than staying stuck in any of the bad D movies of those past lives or past times or past traumas and dramas and <laughs> all that stuff. Let's, you know, everything is on purpose. So let's call forward all the wisdom of all the ancestral knowledge, all the way back to source, you know, mm -hmm. all the way back to the creator, all the love. Let's call forth all of that. Now, what do we want to create? Because this is a very creative planet, obviously. <laughs> and if we could create everything we've ever created, we could feel everything we've ever felt, if we could experience everything we've ever experienced. Now, what do we want to experience? How do we want to feel? What do we want to create? And if we could play in all the ways we've ever played this game of life on this planet, now how do we want to play? There could be a lot more fun ways to play than some of the ways we've played on this planet. So <laughs> rather than staying stuck in the bad D movies, <laughs> you know, let's uh, now, yeah, let's dream a new dream. It's time to, you know, I used to talk about dancing the dreamers awake, dancing the dream awake. So. Uh, and and really, you know, my work is based on the dance of the DNA. It's also called the dance of creation, which is breathing in all the power, all the light, all the love, all God's love right into your heart. And it flows out infinitely to touch the hearts of all beings. And you're going to keep the love and let go of everything else. You see, that's the dance of the DNA. It's this flow. You see the infinity. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so this is that secret of the mystery schools, the deep mystery, that you are, we have access to unlimited power, infinite intelligence, unconditional love, right? Yeah. We have access to all that. What's the problem? It can all be easy, right? <laughs> it's about remembering who we are, all that we are, all that we're here for, all that we have access to, how highly we're connected. And rather than just sitting on our access, <laughs> we want to access that power through our seat of power, our seat of power, literally that power that rises up through the spinal column. That's your spinal column. It's meant to be a column of light, like a pillar in the temple of God. That, that's your standing column or wave. That's the standing column or wave. That's your, that's your biophysics, right? Mm. <laughs> and allow that power to rise up from within you. You know, and we're, we need to now be those pillars in the temple of God to stand in our power, in our truth, in our light, knowing all that we stand for with our sort of truth to cut through all the BS. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of that about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because uh, anything it's stuck in the body was just from buying into a lie. There's nothing more powerful than truth. It's the truth that sets us free. And anything stuck in the body, the only way anything got stuck was from that, you know, this is the breathing in all the light and all the love and letting go of anything that no longer serves, keeping the love, letting go of everything else. The only way anything ever got stuck in the body was <gasps> that whole stoppage of breath. Don't want to be here. Don't want to deal with it. God screwed up. Something's wrong. Let me out of here. <laughs> A stoppage of the breath. <sighs> so <laughs> that's where the aloha comes in. You're going to keep the love, 
<sighs> and there's nothing to hold on to in that flow. The joy is in the flow. Because fear and God, fear and love cannot share the same space. No. <laughs> and fear is only thinking there's something bigger than God. <laughs> you know, it's just fear is, you know, it's, it's just, again, buying into a lie of thinking there was something bigger than God. And that's how things got stuck in the body was from the fear reaction pattern <gasps> where the body mm -hmm. tensed and held on to some illusion. Yeah. Some mm -hmm. versus in the beginning, God breathed the breath of life into man. After that, we're in this free will zone on this planet beautiful 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 paradise planet a free will zone where it's up to us whether we're continually constantly consciously reconnecting to that source of all light all life all power all wisdom or not and it's only a breath away mm. you know the word spirit comes from the latin word spirare which means to breathe that oneness with the breath this is aloha, oneness with the breath yeah. of the love of all life. And it's all within us. And we share from that aloha spirit, you know, with the waves of love. And it's infinite waves of love. So that's what I programmed the technology to do with the body. <laughs> well, fantastic. That's amazing. <laughs> that was a good trick. <laughs> <laughs> but we don't, you know, it's schools... In the past, they don't teach you all these things about, you know, connecting with yourself, about your breath, about meditation, mm -hmm. about being. And, you know, I've often said when they all come together first thing in the morning in schools, children are coming from all walks of life with all sorts of issues going on in the families. And yet if you bring them all in together mm -hmm. and you just do a quiet meditation or you get them to do some dancing, mm -hmm. It just changes everything. But I know there are places that are starting to to be more involved in letting the children be more freer. But we've not been taught that in the past, have we? We've all been shut down and we've been told the total opposite that, you know, nobody's told us you are the powerhouse, you are God, you are the light. Yeah. And it's been a diseducation system, mm -hmm. you know, and, and you know, it's, it's Everything we were talking about this a little bit earlier about Nazi Germany, <laughs> you know, <laughs> propaganda and and look what mm. Mm. Jesse <laughs> yeah. that was interesting. <laughs> yeah. Got mm. cut off there. Mm. Jesse Goebbels, yeah, Germany's <laughs> number one propaganda machine. I mean he'd be pretty impressed, isn't he? <laughs> the way that the current guys have done the planet this this last three years. <clears throat> Here we go. So yeah. um, there was a lady earlier on who mentioned, uh, I wish there was one in Queensland, but there is. So there you go. Marlene's just had two days of it. Yeah, no, I know mm -hmm. um, somebody said there was two, two on the Gold Coast, but um, I, I know there's one in Sydney and I know there's one uh, that I'm aware of. Um, and I know a few people have um, actually sat in them and said amazing the benefits. Um, and I've been talking to a few friends and they've gone together and they've had an hour session and they've all split the cost. I think it was about $100 for an hour. Um, and so they paid $25 each and split the cost. But um, I know she meant, Dr. Sandra mentioned, um, that you could have a hundred people in the room. So um, on the, you know, if you've got a hundred people in the room, imagine the healing that could happen for people all around the planet, having so many people. There's only two, um, Oana, it's one of the Gold Coast and one in Sydney. Oh, is, is that right? Okay, I thought yeah, it was yeah. only three, but I wasn't sure, so. Um, yeah, there you go. Well, according to the website, that, um, Hey, um, we just wait for her to come back online. But people have to understand it's um, it's coming up for um, about two in the morning. It's just awesome. It just I wish I looked like that at half past two in the morning. Flip. <laughs> mm. So um, 
we just got to see if I can bring this up to give people an idea. Um, oh, yeah, this yeah, thing sorry. just keeps going in the loop. Um, so for people that don't know what an EE system is, yeah. it's like telephone, television screens, isn't it? And in the corners of the room. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, <coughs> set up in scalar waves, but <coughs> we just wait for her to come back online. Um, mm. if, I've got my mobile phone turned off, so um, hang on a sec. She hopes she doesn't think that we've gone and knocked her off. <laughs> um, I'll just go, go off airport mode. She might come through on a private Facebook message. Right, I better do the same then, just in case. Yeah, Christine's just come through. We went to a lounge on the Gold Coast, <coughs> but we heard the lounge in Sydney wasn't operating. So there you go. There's, um, people bring up the speed. Um, okay. Because um, I know I looked at the um, the, ne the necklaces ages ago, and I said to a friend, oh, have you seen these? What do you think about these? And I was going to get one, and I can't remember what happened. I moved or something. Totally forgot all about it, and then listening to um dr sandra talking with jason shukra i i thought oh wow this is interesting um and talking to different friends i mean they're having phenomenal results around the world absolutely phenomenal okay so she's lost internet <laughs> um okay so let's just um carry on the show um, have you got any more pictures to share for people to see i do because um, what fascinates me is all the colors that are coming through I mean, when you see something like that, you think, what's going on here? Mm. Yeah. I know they're, they're all even numbers. You know, they, you can have 4, 8, 16, or 12. There's, there's no odd numbers for some reason. Um, okay. Yeah, so obviously, um, we'd love her to come back on. What's that? I just got cut off yeah okay it's all right um, <laughs> right at the prime time of a talk eh? Hey? but gables we won't say any more but i mean what i love is 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 um what she's doing is for the betterment of humanity yeah so I obviously know. um obviously you sit or lay and in between those um mm. units there so when she mentioned 1978 she was only doing it one-on-one -on -one. um in that environment there with the lounges um you know you could place a few lounges there and you could probably as you said before those people come and shared the cost so you could no doubt have four or five or six people mm. in that and receive the benefit from it yeah uh, i'm sure i did read about um you can have up to a hundred. So I don't know how many of those devices um, you would need in, you know, if that makes a difference to how many devices there are to how many people. But I know she talks, what she's wearing, I don't know what they're called, those little circular discs. Um, and I know, I think they're about a hundred dollars on her website. And I know I've got one friend who's, messaged me and said that she bought one um and she's been wearing it for four days and she's noticed such a difference in her energy so um i think and there that's affordable if people can't afford to go to a center and have a treatment um but i think i was also told that they were booked up right until december yeah so you've got a book way in advance um and i can which makes total sense I'm just wondering because there's none yet in the UK, and um, 
because I thought, oh, you know, could find out where they are, but they're not over here yet. And I think she said they were in um, Switzerland and the Netherlands. So they're obviously working their way across the planet. Mm. So I'm just wondering how, because obviously there's a lot about the med beds as well. Everybody's expecting the med beds to heal everything and reverse aging and all sorts of things. And I don't know enough to, um, you know, how it works. You know, it's just something we've all been waiting to see. So I'm just wondering how she would say this in comparison to a med bed. Yeah, okay. So um, I put up this um, expo here and um, there is another. Oh, here it is. I jumped out too quick. Yeah, so um, um that's twenty twenty. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. Um <laughs> hang on then. I just gotta to talk to her as well. Um in twenty twenty she was um a keynote speaker. So uh let's go and get that little click. Where is it there? We here we go. Come on up. Come in, come in. There you go. Yeah, I think it's I think it's called a scalar wave pendant that she's wearing, and she's wearing two. So um mm. Okay, so um No, I, I I don't. I'm looking forward to it coming to England, but I was hoping to ask her that when we spoke. Um So as medallions, are they? I'm not quite sure what they were called. Pendants, medallions. Um, but yeah, apparently they're very powerful. So I thought, well, we, you know, with all the different, um, yeah, med beds haven't been made public. Yeah, so I, I was told um, that one had been brought in and it was held up by the military in Ireland a little while ago. I mean, how true that is, I don't know, but... Um, there's a lot of different thoughts on what they do, whereas with the EE system, you you actually just sit in the chair or, yeah, just sit in a chair or, or on your sofa or whatever. And I think, I I don't know how, I just wondered how they run, um, if they run, you have them running for 24-7 and then what the cost is, is it a low cost to keep them running I mean, that's another thing with the way that prices are um, going sky high. People are more aware of all using these different devices because of the cost. Carry on talking, sorry. Yeah, no, I'm just, um, just thinking what else. Um... Uh, anyway, she's um, just coming to say that she's checking all the routers and all that stuff. <laughs> um, with, and she's trying to use a mobile phone and... Um, so cool. I noticed on the website there uh, to get one of these EE systems, which we really haven't gotten to the part of the conversation, but um, the 14,880 US dollars um, delivered anywhere in the United States. So yeah, I um, saw 28,000 US dollars um, for four units, I think it was. I it? saw, yeah, I saw that. Um, I got saw that on one of her pages came up this morning um hey um i wonder if i can do um i wonder if i can do facebook she's the one coming through on facebook uh, messenger you can have video on that can't you yeah i think it says you can set up a room i've never done it no i wonder if i can get her to come through um interact let's have a go okay we have a go eh? Yes. well this is live <laughs> oh i said this is live um yeah it's i don't know how it's going to go with the audio signal um because we have two different audios coming through isn't it? um yeah now, oh here she comes she's back we're back. Hey. <laughs> my my son uh, showed up and uh, 
figured out how to get it to reconnect. Because it was brilliant. <laughs> oh, it was a it wasn't a, a brief internet outage, but got it back on. Yeah. It's funny when when you were just talking at a certain point and you disappeared. <laughs> Yeah, I thought that was interesting. It's like, was it something I said? Yeah. <laughs> I wonder. The case of Gables was a key word. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> yeah, so it's interesting time that we're in on the planet. <laughs> definitely, definitely. And it's, and, and it's all about us healing ourselves now more than ever, Um yeah, just just more than ever with all the changes that's been happening for people. Um, yeah, I don't want to go there. So, um, so I try to sort of we showed some pictures of the um, EE system. So, what I would like to ask, um, so people can have, I th I think you said you can have have them in in even numbers as opposed to odd numbers. Yes. So, so say I wanted one in my home now. Would I start off with um, just two? Would it be like two in each no. corner? No. Would it be a cube? <laughs> so, would, would you enlighten like us? I don't know anything about them. Yeah, no, they're field engine generators. I mean, it is pure science, um, but it's the way I work with it. It's phase conjugation, phase conjugate wave pairs that come together. It's so anyway, what it's a 180 degree. That's very, very precise. And we do uh, four corners or four walls, or, uh, creating a perfect you know, square or rectangle, uh, so to speak, but equidistance, uh, very precisely aligned to within a hundredth of an inch tolerance. Oh, uh, there we go. That's one of the rooms. So I'm not even sure where that one, oh, I'm not even sure where that one is. <laughs> They're all over the world, so it's, but that's a 20-unit system. Maybe that's the one in, uh, huh, I'm not even sure where that one is. So anyway. Do they run 24-7? And they run 24-7, that's right, because it's creating this amazing, it's industrial string scalar uh, in that, it, that it's not just scalar. Uh, you've got the combination of photonics for colliding photons, kind of like Cerner Fermi Labs, but um, but not just colliding, we're just creating like photonic fusion, which is very, very interesting because that's what actually naturally occurs in the body. Uh, so you've got your polychromatic therapy, that's your ultimate color therapy, you see the colors, and it's designed to interface with the DNA it looks like 12 strands of DNA <laughs> scrolling on the screen. It looks like 12 strands of DNA. It's going through Fibonacci sequences or your golden mean because that's what helps activate and mobilize the body's stem cells because it's the cellular replication patterns. And um, so it's setting up a full standing column away or a zero point energy. And that zero point then creates um, this null zone effect that is a nullification of all detrimental and destructive, disruptive fields. So I, I literally understood radiation from the inside out, right? This is creating the antidote to that. Instead of fission, we're doing fusion. And so it creates this nullification of detrimental and destructive fields. And it's very pretty too. <laughs> After all, uh, you know, I'm the one that does the double blonde studies. It has to be pretty. Um, <laughs> because, but it's the interface with the DNA. Uh, and it's very, very interesting how it works as far as um, with the field effects. These are like field engine generators. And everything is custom built to generate the fields, uh, custom assembled and custom installed for the space. So the minimum is four units, but we do have a new baby unit called the EE cube and it's four units internally. So it doesn't have to be custom installed. You know, we don't just stand an installation team, but it's, um, yeah, it's like two by two by two. It's a EE cube where it's four units internally and then the monitors are facing out and it creates like this beautiful photon fountain type effect. 
And it's extraordinarily bioactive energy in that it's dense, intentional, informational fields um, that, that, you know, that's raising the millivoltage in the cells, literally the cell membrane potential, increasing that cell membrane potential. We're meant to be functioning at 70 to 90 millivoltage when healthy. And cancer doesn't exist in the body till that's below 20. You know, again, this goes back to uh, Otto Warburg's work, you know, back to, you know, and talk about pH cancer. And this has to do with pH. That's your hydrogen potential or the power of hydrogen. And so, you know, it's releasing the active because of the hydrobifurcation from that fusion. <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going a little deep into the science. I'm, I apologize, but it gives, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it gives the body the ideal optimal energy to heal itself. It's kind of like a wireless human or a cell battery charger. It's not even just for humans. It's, it's for biology, for life. It's literally light force energy. Uh, that's an ideal optimal energetic that we'd have in an ideal optimal world of how do we create heaven on earth here, but also it's how do we plug the body back into that cosmic light socket, mm. universal unlimited power on, it's literally activating the light at the core of the DNA. And, and that's our star, it's been called the star seed, but uh, mm. you know, that it's the light at the core, we, we are stardust, we are beings of light, prime function of DNA, is storage of photons and and so that's you know just very very interesting work and and all healing it you know is from that giving the body back that light energy you know light force life force energy and radiation unzips the dna breaks those covalent hydrogen bonds unzips the dna well, unified fields puts it back into its original divine matrix. Mm. Yeah, so it puts it back to its original divine design. Or, you know, I like to talk about we have designer genes. You know, everybody <laughs> wants designer genes. We you know, want the original divine design of our DNA. <laughs> puts the DNA back to its original matrix. That's that zero point or unified field effect. And then with the fusion effect, that hydrobifurcation releases the active hydrogen, which allows the repair of the covalent hydrogen bonds in the DNA. And the active oxygen, of course, is like your ultimate oxygen therapy. But it's restoring the body's natural alkaline pH because every cell is like a mini battery. <laughs> so all life is, you know, healing is voltage is one of the books that's out there, you know. Yeah. yeah. So when you so people just come in and sit there like for an hour and they and it just does whatever it needs to do to that person's body. They do not they can just sit and meditate, just be and just allow it to flow through. That's correct. It's uh, so simple. <laughs> Children and animals they don't have to explain anything. They just say, go in, close your eyes, <laughs> take a little power nap. You're literally breathing light. Photons are your quantums of light. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, and, and, you know, and cancer is, it, it's like a disturbance in the force. It's from a loss or a lack, a distortion of the photons in the, so this puts the body back to its original. And it's not really, nothing's touching the body. It's just healthy energy. It's photons, which are your quantums of light. You're breathing light to every cell and every part of the body. And then that infinite innate intelligence of the body knows what to do with the energy. And so it's just ideal, optimal energy. It's also ideal, optimal meditational states. Yeah. You know, as you talk about meditating. So it, you know, that is some of the research where people could go to a deeper meditational state than a Tibetan monk in seven minutes. And this was research that I did with one of the top scientists, um, you know, who's considered the top scientist at the Pentagon for a while. <laughs> but a deeper meditational state than a Tibetan monk in seven minutes. It's pretty crazy. Uh, wow. But all healing is done in delta and theta brain states. Mm. And so you want to close your eyes. As long as the eyes are open, 
more than 80 some percent of the body's energy, 90% almost, is being externalized to, to cope with the environment. But it's like rebooting a computer. You, you want to, you know, sleep mode, right? <laughs> defrag, <laughs> reboot. And we want to flip everything from being in that fright, flight, or fight, that fear mode physically that the body got stuck in from all the fear reaction patternings. The whole body goes, ah, mm -hmm. I can finally relax. In an ideal, because otherwise we're being bombarded 24 7 with the EMF, the ELF, the radiation, the microwave. You know, and after Fukushima, we have like what's considered, you know, with the, the NASA physicists I work with, it's considered an extinction level event, an ELE, extinction level event, just from Fukushima alone. We should have all been evacuated, but where are we going to all go? <laughs> Good question. Las Vegas. We have to. We have to become bodies of light, <laughs> literally, because light bodies don't care so much about the radiation, but, but we're reversing all the effects of that. We, we're, you know, because as we radiate light, again, the core of the DNA is light from the stars and disease is from a loss or lack of photons. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, this is a light force energy. Sometimes I joke about our technology is kind of like uh, Star Trek, Star Wars, and the Matrix got together and had a baby. <laughs> yeah. you know, hey, so my question to you is that um, the power source that comes to your configuration, obviously in North America, it's 110 in um, mm -hmm. European and Commonwealth-based countries, I suppose, we're 220, yeah. 240. Um, but we're working on 50 hertz um, when we should be working on 60 hertz. Well, so when we've got this, detrimental to the body. And if you want it, to learn more about that, you can actually go on our research page and read um, the transcript of John Warba, who is a Pentagon biophysicist <laughs> um, or, or there's a YouTube video of John Orava, O-R-A-V-A, describing how that stresses the cells. So it doesn't matter whether it's 50 or the 60, but the, the stress to the cells that would um, break down immune function would it eventually cause cancer, even just our 60 cycle or 50 cycle um, electrical grid. Because we the electrical should grid comes in. That's yeah. coming into that room where you got. And then are you then uh, transforming that into your right? That's it's your proprietary a, technology, yeah. Then, then yeah, it's a then, total transmutation of energy into beneficial, coherent, right. cohesive, unified field effects, and not just that. It, it's because it's because it puts it into like electrical precursors for the body, so to speak. Bioactive energy is energy that the body relates to, because again, the DNA is biophotonic. So it takes the energy, the body, and, and it's, you know, using it like a, through, the, through the circuitry of the body and, and working with all the meridians simultaneously and stuff. There's a lot of research, a lot of, lot of research. And I recommend people, you know, um, see some of that research or they can I, they can go to um the tesla tech you know i lectured for the tesla conferences and there's if they go on youtube they can put on dr sandra rose michael tesla tech and there's a couple where i go through the science and i go through um some of the medical uh you know that because we've had peer-reviewed published studies uh you know, with the University of Hawaii Medical School on mitigation of seizure disorder. And that was a, a case of a little girl having eight to 10 grand mal seizures a day. Oh, gosh. Yeah, it was actually a clear case after, um, after, um, the well baby check. We'll, we'll talk about it that way since yep. it's going on YouTube. There you <laughs> and right. after that well baby check, she was having eight to 10 grand mal seizures a day. And at, had her first seizure-free day after a third one-hour session in wow. the immune system, and so that was published in the journal Neurology Research. So there's a lot of research um, that we go through. Uh, initial clinicals were done in 2001, and those were presented um, for that was with Dr. Victor Marcial Vega. Uh, that's the initial clinicals, 132 patients. 
and that was presented at the American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine. But you can read those studies and, uh, and things like that uh, on the website. And it was also presented at the Radiation Oncology Committee meeting because he was a John Hopkins trained oncologist in the top 1% of credentials. And so he presented it as an adjunct therapy for cancer because it mitigated pain and side effects so well. Uh, because, because it reduces inflammation when you have that active hydrogen and the effects on the body. I, I don't know if you saw the thermography that shows inflammation. So it's reducing inflammation through the whole body. And of course, inflammation is what's behind all disease, aging, mm -hmm. and, you know, that's that, you know, the body, um, you know, in that inflammatory state. Uh, it is what's behind all acute chronic disease, as, uh, disease and uh, pain as well. So you reduce that inflammation, you know, the body, body wants to heal. So, um, you know, with radio, I'm using radio as an example. So um, we put out a, a carrier wave. So we're on 88. Yeah. On zero hertz. But um, you can have a subcarrier wave where you can send out another message on our on our carrier wave i um, mean the so in tv terms they used to have what was teletext so you might in, in australia i'll just give you an example we had channel seven and you could then click on the teletext and then you'll get a screed would come down the bottom and get all your news that was on the sub carrier wave on yours um mm -hmm. scalar wave are you, then your scalar wave technology would be a carrier wave. Would you also have a sub carrier wave in there where you might have um, a message there that's saying, get well, you're positive, <laughs> I love you. Breathe love, breathe light. Yeah. I'm just <laughs> yeah. saying, I'm just throwing it out there. Yeah, it's waves of love, literally. It's, it's uh, dense intentional informational fields, and it's all about alignment with true best and highest potential. You know, mm. like the exponential highest potential that's yeah um, because everything wants to function more optimally and scalar is a car carrier wave uh, and and the um, DNA is also scalar the DNA is is also like an antenna so there's you know you know it's wireless transmission <laughs> can you amplify it using quartz crystal well, there's, there's always an aspect of that, and that's part of the interface with the body. And that's why we use, um, I mean, this is the high-tech and the low-tech model, the, the EE medallions that I'm wearing or the EE bracelets, because they're, they're natural crystals, natural stones in that toroidal, you know, scalar vortex uh, format, you know, which is like an infinitely projected Mobius. And so it... it carries the charge perpetually because they're self-healing, self-repairing, self-regenerating fields. And so we've done a lot of research. Uh, you can read uh, studies on the medallions. Like I said, these are the high-tech, very high-tech embedded into a low-tech model, <laughs> very portable, very wearable. <laughs> but it helps maintain the integrity of the DNA and the red blood cells and things like that because it's... Um, yeah, and if you read the research, um, Dr. Glenn Ryan did did studies, did lab research. <clears throat> and that's actually on the website. Lab research and he found a 28% increase in the electrical conductivity of DNA itself, just being exposed to a medallion. Wow, that's high. <laughs> 28%. Again, mm -hmm. superconductivity. You know, that's that state where there's no impedance, right? <laughs> very, very important. A uh, very important uh, concept is coherence. You know, defrag, right? <laughs> that co total. You want to create total coherence. And what scalar does, it allows uh, reorganization to higher levels of function, where the body takes the energy and reorganizes in dynamic homeostasis because the body wants to be in balance. So it's going to take that zero point energy and use the energy to reorganize into higher levels of function where the body has the energy. And then when the body has that charge and that has that energy, it can discharge what doesn't belong. 
detox, 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 because we're living in a toxic soup. So then the body is trying to push the toxins out of every nook and cranny it can get it out of. And then it's an old, old science from those uh, temples, those mystery schools. <laughs> it's a, I tell people to send themselves to bath heaven <laughs> because it's a detox bath, the purification rites, but the detox bath, very simple. A uh, pound of salt, two cups of salt <laughs> is a simple bath to, because the salt, and that's sea salt, not Epsom salt, yes. <laughs> sea salt, the salt of the earth stuff. <laughs> And uh, because the salt will pull like a magnet, it's the old purifier. And the skin is the third kidney, so it's going to take the stress off the kidneys, you know, because the skin is the largest organ of elimination. When the body has a charge, it's trying to discharge everything that doesn't belong. So it's going to be trying to push toxins out of every nook and cranny it can get it out of, right? So yeah. the detox bath, you're going to breathe because it takes breath for energy to move. You're going to breathe. And this is even just from wearing a medallion. We've had people get a headache or whatever or detox symptoms just from wearing the medallion because all, now the body is trying, it's going to try to heal itself. Mm. So it's going to try to push out whatever created dis-ease in the body in the first place. So you want to do the detox baths. Nothing does what a bath does. But you're going to breathe, <sighs> let everything dissolve into the water, and it's going to pull like a magnet. The salt works with the charge in the body, that potassium sodium pump, and things like that. And and and, and you know, let it dissolve into the water. I can, people send me pictures of what's in that water or what's <laughs> it's really fascinating. <laughs> fascinating. <laughs> That's an interesting word. <laughs> It's an interesting study, but uh, but the body, when it has the energy, wants to let go. Love mm -hmm. is letting go. It wants to let go. Joyful release of anything and everything that doesn't belong. So we've mm -hmm. seen parasites in the water. We see uh, sometimes, you know, I had a master metal worker that had contracts for uh, for doing all the bridges and such. And the first six baths he did, the water turned the color of steel. And he said it felt like steel shavings in the bottom of the tub. So he got his magnet, and sure enough, it picked it all up. <laughs> you know, okay. I mean, just fascinating things like that. Um, you know, and, and we've had people take a black light, you know, to some of those bioluminescent things that have been um, people that have been being shared through, you know, this recent, uh, <laughs> these yeah. recent, Yes. <laughs> Whatever you want to call them. Injections people have gotten. Uh, that's not anything normal or natural to the body. And the body will try to push that out. And you can actually take a black light to the to the tub water <laughs> and see what the body is trying to get rid of. Mm -hmm. Very, very interesting. Or sometimes it's like sand in the bottom. Sometimes it's green. It's different colors. Uh, you know, a little boy with... Um, autism that the, the water turned black you know he'd already yeah. done chelation and everything else and the mother had done chelation um because she was a doctor but but that that's how much heavy metals that the body was trying to get rid of from whatever toxic exposures that we've we're living in such a toxic soup in the air the water the food and then you know, and then we're and without this technology, it's like we're all living in a microwave right now. <laughs> so you want we need the means we have the way we had to kind of counter that with technology because it's a lot of it's being done with technology. So how do we have technology and the benefits of it without it being destructive to our health? Mm -hmm. You know, how do you stay healthy? How do you stay strong? You know, healing you know, means wholeness. And it's about remembering the holiness or the sacredness of our bodies and who we are and all that we're here for and our sacred sovereignty as beings of yeah. sons and daughters of God. Yeah. So um, this helps remind the body of all that. <laughs> yeah, well, it's got, just going back to the original blueprint, isn't it? Um, yeah. What I would like to ask, I know you said you started off with one and then you could only see one uh, one person at a time 
how did it because it's obviously taken it was, off. it wasn't one unit it was like a it was like probably the world's first tanning booth right you stepped into it <laughs> and stood in the middle of it <laughs> <laughs> but you can't heal the world one person at a time. That's yeah. what's so unique about this. We can have a hundred people in a room. That's what's being done in St. George, Utah right now. Just yeah, can I just ask, because um, I read that somewhere, with having a hundred people in a room, how many units did you need to have? Could you just, just, just have like 20 and that's, it didn't matter uh, how many units you've got to the amount of people? Yeah, it doesn't matter for that. We've had 500 people in four units, yeah. <laughs> and it's effective. We've done 5,000 square foot warehouses with four units or, or ballrooms and things like that or events. Um, but that, um, but eight's about 10 times better than a four in the density of fields, and 24 is what they're doing there, and 24 is it matches more with the the geometry of the DNA. It's so it's much fuller, the density of the fields, and it's uh, you know smoother actually because the detox is is more elegant, easier, uh, you know, rather than um, you know not having quite as much detox symptoms, Herxheimer or retracing to try to manage, so to speak. Although it's very elegant, it it doesn't um, put people into healing crisis as long as they drink the water and do the salt baths. <laughs> and you want to support detox. But it's also about, you know, balancing the brain, right, left brain synchronization. So you have whole brain thinking and triggering genius, triggering more intelligence. We want to give people the energy to change, we've done a lot of brain mapping and stuff, but you want to give people the energy to change their mind, <laughs> to change their diet, to make more intelligent, more informed, healthier choices in for their body and for their life and for the world. <laughs> I think we need healthier, more intelligent, more informed choices with our leadership for the planet to create the new earth, right? <laughs> Clearly, there's a destructuring going on of the old systems is so dysfunctional. So there's got to be, let, let's create a new heaven and a new earth. But it's through us being that change. We're the ones we've been waiting for. It's mm -hmm. about us being willing to walk the planet as the Christed beings, as the sovereign sons and daughters of God, with full access to all that's ours, and total remembrance of who we are. All well, that's your inheritance, isn't it? Um, hey, when, when you talk about two, four, six, and eight, some units and stuff, when we look at the videos here, and we that's see that... Two. Okay, let, that would be a seesaw. That doesn't work well with the body. <laughs> Nothing with two. It's four is the minimum to create that full standing column wave or that scalar vortex um, so, to create a real solid. So four is the minimum. So you see in that picture, you, you're seeing three of the four uh, columns that sure. have five units each. So that's a 20 unit system. I was so. counting that. Okay, so what we're saying is that you have one in northeast, southwest, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. And then um, it's up to you. Within this unit here is five on each quadrant. If you want to call it such, yeah, or cardinal point, yeah, okay, yeah. And well, and the more you relax, the more the body can use the energy. So it's like you know, taking you know, taking your power nap, <laughs> you know, so to speak. So yeah. on each one of those, they're all got a. Um, so just look at the five um, video monitors. If you want to look at it such, they're all putting out a different. Um, photon wave with a you know, different color and a different frequency is that correct yeah they they all contain all of it and they're going through fibonacci sequences because that's the cellular replication patterns and then we're colliding because it's precisely aligned to trying to get it to within a hundredth of an inch tolerance all laser aligned so every installation is custom to the space uh this is 
a nice clear space where you could have a meditation group, you could have a yoga class, you can have your uh, zero gravity chairs, or you could have mats on the floor. Uh, you can have, it's designed to make any and every other therapy more effective, more efficient because of creating that coherence that, and like I said, that increased electrical conductivity, superconductivity in the body. You know, so anything you apply is going to be more coherent and be able to be much more effective. Mm -hmm. So it's designed to make any and every other therapy work better. It's designed to make anything and everything work better and including our technologies and stuff. So because it's clearing impedance, creating more coherence, there's, there's a lot of different applications that, for the technology, although I designed it really for creating uh, hyper healthy environments and, uh, and to put the DNA back to its original matrix, so to speak. <laughs> so do you start at 1.618 or you, or you use that as a ratio from a starting point? So you might start off, I don't know, at eight frequency or whatever, and then go to 13. Is that how you do it? Are you doing that Fibonacci sequence in that way? Oh, okay. Uh, somewhat. I mean, it's, a, it's covering a full spectrum of energies. So I don't know what you were asking exactly. I'm not sure. I will, you know, Fibonacci, like for example, in our bodies, uh, mm -hmm. if I was to make, if I was to stand up and use, my, get a tape measure and I go, the bottom of my sole of my feet is A and the top of my head is B. So I take that measurement. And then if I go from the bottom of my sole of my feet to my tummy button and make that C, and if I go A, B, from the sole of my foot to, to A, right. to C, it should be up 1.618. And then you start that's seeing right. that ratio in my that, whole body. Yes. And that's why the Fibonacci or the, the, the spiral of life or golden mean, golden ratio is so important because everything in the body relates to that. So, and, and life on this planet relates to that. So, so when you do your Fibonacci, do you have a jump point? I mean, you start off at one or do you start off <laughs> magically at some other number of, but like people talk about the, the chakras there and they might say five, two, eight, and the next one might be six, two, eight or something. And then one's seven, five, nine. I can't remember the freak, the numbers now, but is that how you do your um, programming on the system? Not exactly. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's because it's doing a full spectrum. I'm not working with, with specific frequencies per se. There is a predominance of like Schumann resonance. Okay. And um, or the 14 CPS, um, you know, the, the resonance of like a virgin rainforest, your ideal optimal brain states. That's how you can get the optimal um, meditation oh, states. But now I know why you said we work in the delta and the theta. So you work in jump That's that where point. the healing is. is yeah. in okay, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. It's also okay. working with the gamma gamma frequencies as well. But it's, it's spanning a full spectrum because that's how we're designed. It's not specific frequencies. Like RIFE is specific frequencies that are designed to destroy pathogens. This is how do we create optimal health. It's a whole different intentionality. We're not uh, treating dis diseases per se or anything like that. It's just a hyper healthy energetic environment that allows for that repair and regeneration, literally. Good question. Um, mm -hmm. That's um, a good I question. Like, uh, no, I, I was going to ask something then. Um, where are these being made? I mean, they must be, you must be pumping them out, if you like. Um, yeah. Because they they seem to be in such demand. And I've heard people saying they're waiting and, you know, are they coming to England? When they come into England, you know, when can we get one? And so <laughs> I know, I know you. They're coming slowly, coming across this way. But have you got a large factory where they're building them all the time? You know, nonstop. <laughs> yeah, we've got a full team ramping up, and we're moving to a new production facility as well. <laughs> this this week, this next week, 
should say. Uh, but yeah, and, and realize that our initial clinicals were 2001. The initial research back in the 90s, you know, was with NASA and they mm. who found that it was repairing, they studied the effects on the DNA. This late 90s found it was repairing all the genetic damage. Uh, the, the effects on the DNA of just being in the fields, that the, it was repairing all the breaks in the DNA and lengthening the telomeres. So true age reversal. And we had Tesla Society measuring all the fields and found that it was, you know, zero radiation, <laughs> creating that zero point null zone effect and, and transmutation of energy into beneficial fields. But the John Orva video kind of explains that well. But the fact is the power that made the body heals the body. And we love miracles. And we've mm -hmm. seen anything and everything heal because that's how the body's designed to function. You know, it's true functional medicine that way. Um, so, it, yeah, and so, yes, it's going out there. They're all over the world already. Initially, it went out. Um, you, know, you know, of course, I was working with doctors with the clinicals and things like that. But, um, but most of them went out in private homes so that mm -hmm. it could be stopped. They're all over the world already. And it's did, kind of did you have, when you started making these, did you have opposition or um, mm -hmm. from different forces to try and stop this coming out to humanity? Of course. Mm. And I know in one of your interviews that you said that you were um, very protected. So, and obviously you would need to be in doing the work that you're doing and the difference that you're making. Um, mm -hmm. So how, how do you work to protect yourself? Do you just know that you are, you know, you are that force, you are that God source, that you are protected and you don't have to get any more energy? There is no such thing as death anyway. So, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. you know, so, okay. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't be here without Archangel Michael protecting me. He's a really good guardian angel. You know, I had that big double-edged sword of truth. Yeah. <laughs> Knock yeah. that stuff out. Yeah. <laughs> very yeah. protective. Legions of angelic forces, but I'm also very protected um, at these levels too because I've done so much with the military and, and things like that as far as for healing. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and, and yeah, so it's been, it's very, very interesting. So we have a number of retired Marines working in our offices and with us and, and special ops and special forces guys. And <laughs> so, uh, yeah. And so everything is being wrapped up because everything is custom built um, using computer components, but like an engine and it's kind of Rolls Royce components. Everything is custom built and it's really computers. And the only thing off the shelf was we use very, very high end uh, monitors. Mm. So, but those are off the shelf, but but um, but to our specs, so to speak. Um, so, yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and with just the, here, with just Jay, wants, wants to know if um, if you're singing inside one of those. Um, yeah, rooms. I mean, if you we if we were to sit or chant in those rooms, you know, with that going on, would that amplify the singing, the chanting, and the energy? Absolutely. I mean, people have uh, done a lot with the sing in the singing bowls, you know, in the system, which is fantastic and wonderful. Uh, as far as it's designed to bring whatever capabilities and talents and that people have to their highest potential. So like singers have found they can go octaves lower and higher, things like that, or um, or um, Del Big Tree just got back to me and said he, he has no other explanation for his really enhanced uh, performance in sports and reaction times are so accelerated because that neurotransfer velocity when you have that stepped mm. up, uh, you know, cell signaling and everything's firing more efficiently. So the reaction times, peak performance is some of the, the stuff we see with, uh, we have some top, top athletes using the technology, both for injury recovery, but also for that performance advantage, 
where they become like top in the field here. You know, just they, they become superstars. Yeah. Are so there it's any, interesting. Sorry. Are there any in schools anywhere? Uh, not in schools per se, but I mean, we do have a lot of young people that use them. Yeah. 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 Because it's really, really good. Um, yeah, really, really great for learning challenges and things like that. It is designed to trigger genius and kind of entrains the brain for like photo reading, which is part of what I learned with Mensa. <laughs> you know, one of the gifts of Mensa was speed reading, the photo reading, and it kind of entrains the brain for, for those super learning states. Yeah. And so any kind of learning challenges or difficulties, it's going to try to push out whatever created the circuit jams in the first place and the breakdown of of the circuitry and and then you know quadrupled mitochondrial activity some of the research actually when i lectured at the royal society of london <laughs> we did yeah i was in <laughs> i was there in in the uk and there are systems there oh, there okay. are systems there yeah all right but 90% of our systems are in private homes around the bed. There was a center, but then they retired. And so they, people put it back around their bed, <laughs> you know, because that's the best is sleeping in it. Ideally, you have it around your bed. You know, it's just the best. But, but clinically or in the centers, uh, you know, we recommend people have two hours at a time to give the body time to get to the deeper delta and theta states. Mm -hmm which is where the repair and regeneration actually occurs. And realize that one of the first symptoms of electropollution, electrosmog, of radiation effects, whether it's your ionizing or non-ionizing radiation, the body's being bombarded so it never gets to the deeper delta and theta brain state. So the first symptom of radiation poisoning, which is what we're all dealing with uh, on the planet, uh, the first symptom is sleep disturbances. And so first thing we hear with this, whether it's just from getting a medallion or, or you know, first thing we hear is that they're sleeping so well. Mm. Because, you know, allows the body to relax. <sighs> you know, <laughs> or the whole body goes, <sighs> I can finally relax. <laughs> Versus staying in that fright, flight or fight or what's called sympathetic, but it's staying in that fear mode physically rather than being able to relax. And in that zero point, you know, you, rather than being outer reactive to, mm. you know, to your environment and reacting and being stressed out because uh, constant compensation for imbalance is struggle and it's taking all the body's energy to cope with a gravitational field to cope with a, you know, to cope with a, a negative environment. Instead, when you go to that zero point yourself, that right left brain synchronization, I, I, it's so vital for whole brain thinking, but that, with that right left brain synchronization, you go to center point and you have all the energy to respond appropriately to all the stressors mm -hmm. without being stressed out by them. <laughs> yeah, and people are so so stressed now with, you know, like 5G ramping up and, you know, like all these different toxins that are coming in from here, there and everywhere um, and people's diets and people are, you know, really struggling at the moment, um, you know, talking to different people in different environments. Um, so uh, it would be ideal to have, if we could all have a little, little cube each in our home, every home should have one. Yes, every home should have one, or at least have it in the in the neighborhood because the yeah. fields go out about two point two miles every day. <laughs> it's like Earth acupuncture. Uh, okay, so um, there's this lady who's been an active um, participant tonight. Um, talks about her son's got epilepsy, and um, she hasn't got the funds to actually import one of these, and realizes that in the UK there's private um, people, but. I might ask her to send a private email to you through your website. Just ask if, if you know of anyone wanting to set up a centre there. That um... okay. The best way to deal with that. I don't know how many of you saw Jason. The interview with Jason Shirka. I'd recommend everybody watch mm. that if you haven't, uh, because the Jason Shirka interview got pushed out and went globally viral. Yeah. 
absolutely crazy. And we had over 70,000 emails in the first three days. <laughs> I can't even tell you how many hundreds of thousands we've had now. So people go, oh, how come they haven't responded to our email? Well, that's, it's impossible to respond okay. to 70,000 emails in three days. <laughs> I mean, we had nothing in yep. place for that. And the calls were coming in one a minute. So now we have call centers and we have, we brought in the Marines because they're really good at getting things done <laughs> and, and, and being mission oriented and just charging through it. Um, so, and actually one of the Marines in our office, um, you know, is, it was part of our initial clinicals. Tatiana is in her office, so she handles a lot of the phone because she was in the initial clinicals in 2001. And she, she was a former gunnery sergeant. <laughs> She's at the Pentagon. She taught martial arts in, to the Marines. <laughs> but she lived with us for a while. She was, anyway, she's retired now. And she's had the vision of this ever since 2001. And so, so she's come and joined us. Um, so, you know, people can um, call our office um, and, um, and connect there. Uh, there, there is a new office line. It's on the website, eesystem.com. But yeah, from that Jason interview, it went so viral. It was crazy. <laughs> but it's just time, though. The good yeah. news is because we've been waiting a long time for this time. And before that, I was doing the homework, doing the research, laying the foundations. You know, 90% are in private homes or all over the world, you know, building the grid, you know, building the foundations. And they always said from the time I was given this assignment, and we talked about that earlier, how I was meditating. And this was an assignment to create this technology. And it was a download in meditation that went on and on and on and on. I bet. <laughs> On and on. And yes, it's done everything <laughs> that they told me to do. <laughs> Even though I go, do you guys have the right channel? I'm blonde. Hello. You want me to do what? <laughs> Create the counterpoint to what? <laughs> um, but within a week, I was on it. And <laughs> um, so it's been an interesting journey, this, this whole path. And yes, there's been obstacles. There's been you know, um, all kinds of attempts. I mean, at one point, everything was taken. I was locked out of my offices. They took everything. We started over with less than scratch. Nothing. Rewrote everything from less than scratch. Um, so you name it, we've been through it. <laughs> but it's uh, all ramping out, ramping up and going out because part of the original instructions was that when it went out, when it finally went out, it had to be everywhere fast. Yeah, definitely. And, yeah, so it couldn't be stopped. But waiting, waiting for the right timing. Well, in spite of me waiting for the right timing still, <laughs> I guess TLS, the, the light system with Jason Young, know, which I'm part of that as well, uh, they decided it was time because that was part of our agreement that when it was time, they were going to push it everywhere fast. So I was pushed into doing the... I was pushed into doing that interview. Jason right. showed up. I was doing a fundraiser for Scott McKay. Maybe people know, maybe know him or not, this Patriot Street Fighter, but I was doing a fundraiser for him. I had 60 people coming at $150 a head <laughs> that night for dinner at, at, our, at our place, right? <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, so Jason Shirka showed up, was going to support the fundraiser and brought his camera and stuff because he was given the assignment to interview me. So he brought the camera and, and we're busier than heck. But <laughs> so he pushed me into doing that interview and then pushed it out faster than I knew what was happening. <laughs> and we weren't really ready for what what happened with that i mean it was a total tsunami of response oh. because we've waited a long time for this time everything is at tipping point we're in the time of the prophecies the prophecies you know thousand years of peace the second coming what you know there's all kinds of prophecy about this time can i um going off track there's a lot of talk about the quantum beds coming in um, I don't. I don't know anything about them. 
Um, <laughs> I've, I've just heard a lot of, you know, a lot of rumours about what's coming, this new Medved technology. Um, do you know how, is there like a comparison to, to that to yours? Because like I said, I don't know anything about these things, so I'm totally um, just kind of <laughs> a different perspective. Right, but that's why Jason talks about beyond med bed technology. Anything and everything they talk about with that, we've been doing, we've been seeing. I mean, I could talk about all the crazy miracles, which is just, I mean, yeah, I mean, just crazy miracles. <laughs> Anything and everything healing, because mm -hmm. the power that made the body heals the body. And when people allow that, you can't make them heal. But... <laughs> You know, but total miracles. Yeah, you know, yeah. Literally, you know, people, you know, sent to hospice. You know, many, many people have been sent to hospice reviving, mm. you know, coming back to life. And it's, it's a wonderful thing. All kinds of, all kinds of miracles. We get the stories every day. It's wonderful. Uh, so the med beds, anything and everything they've talked about with that, we've been doing and documenting and with the clinicals and seeing for, you know, since the late 90s already. <laughs> but, it, it, but the reason I was told to do this this way is you, you can't heal the world one person at a time. <clears throat> you know, practitioner dependent, doctor dependent, operator dependent, one person at a time. So to me, uh, the capsule of putting people in a capsule, where are you going to line up 6 billion people to get in a med bed? <laughs> I mean, really? How are we going to heal the world that way? <laughs> because that was my original question in meditation. How do we heal the world? How do we create that quantum leap of consciousness? where the great awakening cannot and will not be stopped and the bottom leap of consciousness for a planet and so it's working with the you know like tesla's work it goes through the planet works with the grids within the planet and around the planet making it easier for everybody to access those fields of consciousness of alignment with true best and highest doesn't impose it doesn't impose on anything it just allows that support for alignment with true best and highest, whatever that means in the moment for that individual, you know, and, and for the planet and for the world. So it's healing the environment, the animals, the, you know, mm. uh, because it's just hyper healthy energy. It's the natural energy we were meant to have in an ideal, optimal, pristine world. So people could wait for the med beds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that aren't available. I mean, yes, they've been in the secret space program and things like that. Uh, but that's one person at a time, still practitioner dependent and all that. Or, you know, um, you know what we've been doing, it's like you can have as many people as you can fit in a, uh, mm. in a space all receiving at the same time. Uh, and it's not operator dependent time. It's not time and energy intensive that way. So it, it's a very different concept because it was like, how do we bring healing to the world? One-on-one, -on -one, you know, doctor dependent stuff isn't going to work for us at this point. <laughs> that makes total sense. And like for me, I mean, you know, to have, to be able to have a center and like you say, to have a hundred people or 500 people all at one go, receiving healing i mean that's phenomenal you know you can heal the world world at a rapid pace can't you i mean it's, it's taking its own momentum you know you you can just feel the energy of these machines just just going and flowing and unstoppable yeah and it's and it's interesting too because um you know it goes i think i mentioned the scale it goes out about 2.2 miles directly with that null zone effect so it's let's create healthy communities, but that's just the null zone of that. The, the hyper healthy energy is in the room. The, the scalar goes through the walls and everything, 2.2 miles every direction, approximately. Um, and it's like earth acupuncture. <laughs> and it goes through the planet like Tesla's work. Uh, and But the photons don't go through the walls. So... Uh, the hyper healthy energy that the body uses as far as relating to the DNA 
is actually in the room. So you've got this whole plethora of, of bioactive field effects going on. It's, it's you know, you know, multiple fields. I mean, poly, polychromatic, but you've got all the benefits of pulse electromagnetic field therapies, but you've got the scalar, which is beyond relative time and space, mm. nonlinear, non-Hertzian, that infinitely projected Mobius, so to speak, where it's self-perpetuating, self-healing, self-regenerating fields, which supports the innate natural function of our body. We're meant to be self-healing. Mm. Everything's meant to be self-healing in the body, you know, so it, it supports that whole level of function. Amazing. So is there a center at all in the UK that if I said to you, like, I would love to go and experience this, is there anywhere I can go? Um, not right this moment, but there are some in process. Oh, and I started to talk about Jason Shirka. I recommend people go to Unified, U-N-I-F-Y-D, unifiedhealing.com, because um, he's got a way for people to coordinate in different areas. Right. So that as the, and, and he's putting the different locations on or the ones that are signing up with the Unified Healing platform you know the unified healing in that great unified healing.com for you know we are the combined unified presence that can heal the world so this is us we have to come to together and be the greater community correct communion sacred communion <laughs> unified fields we have to be the greater community we have to come together. That's the only thing that the counterintelligences have had going is they've been a lot better organized. Well, these are organizational fields, <laughs> reorganization to higher levels of function. We need to bring people together. So like I said, 2.2 miles, the hyper healthy energy is within the system though, and however many people, uh, and it works through the DNA because the DNA is that wireless transmission as well. So it's working genetically, mm -hmm. you know, transgenerationally, transdimensionally, and, you know, your ideal meditational states. So it's about being super conscious. And, and I say using the energy to turn up the volume on your own inner knowing. You know, it's like turning the lights on cellular enlightenment and and knowing whatever there is to know the knowing of which allows all things to totally heal and clear as issues in the body the life the relationships our communities our families and for the whole world now yeah <laughs> let's know whatever god wants us to know because one of the secrets of instant healing is as soon as you get the message from higher self what something's about no more need for the symptom yeah <laughs> or unconditional love it means letting go of every freak and excuse you've ever had for not being in love <laughs> ever <laughs> letting go of every excuse you've ever had for every limitation you've put every judgment judge not was really commandment in that bible judge not be still and know is really shut up and listen yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's a commandment. Be still and know. It's in there. <laughs> Fear not. These are <laughs> these are important commandments, really. Mm. But be still and know. You want to let yourself know whatever God wants you to know. And then as soon as you're present with anything and everything with love, it all heals. The most destructive emotion in the body is is anger. Mm. Hate and anger. You know, fear. And everything goes back to that fear reaction physically because mm -hmm. fear of God cannot share the same space. Mm -hmm. right? So yeah. fear is just forgetfulness of who we are and all that we have access to. So bottom line, um, politicians obviously um, are running on fear. <laughs> fear porn has been the <laughs> media modality. So fear for them is that someone might take their job. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got to keep everybody else from fear. This always seems to be the whole standard yeah. DNA for bloody politicians, isn't it? Yeah, and it's just desperate attempts to try to maintain mm. control. Yeah. Um, but the Great Awakening cannot and will not be stopped. You know, as people are waking up in spite of everything and mm. anything, people are waking up all over the world. 
And when we stand in our power, in our light, in our love, when we stand together as those pillars in the temple, God yeah. wins. Mm-hmm. And there is no other outcome. You know, if you could look, go back and, and uh, you know, the, the things of uh, Project Looking Glass, for example, and no matter what they did, there's, we get the same outcome. I've been shown the outcomes. You know, we know how this plays out on this planet. Yeah, cannot the Great Awakening cannot will not be stopped. Mm. And they're going to try everything, and they haven't exactly been exiting gracefully. No. <laughs> so I, I might have taken on that that um, we've had some off-world um, sentient beings here who've had a uh, ill intent. Are they the ones that have been playing around with? Um, the fair modules and are they being evacuated off this planet? Would that be a, a quick? Yeah, the synopsis? gigs up. <laughs> the, <clears throat> the gigs up. Their timelines done. Essentially, this planet's going into light. You know, uh, it's going fifth dimensional. You know, instead of five, instead of five G, we're doing five D. You know, definition of scalar is nonlinear, non Hertzian, fifth dimensional standing column of ways beyond relative time and space. So, past, present, future is all the same, it's all simultaneous. And so, people have those kinds of experiences. Uh, it's also very trans dimensional part of healing many times for a lot of people is being able to uh, commune, have, have conversations with their recently departed loved ones, and complete any any healings that way or know what or get to know what they want them to know and you know things like that so it's trans-dimensional that way because there is no such thing as death we're eternal and love is forever we're eternal beings we just call it a change of address (laughs) that's what we call it in hawaii the change of address but uh yeah but you know with, with the body, without a body, you know, we've got a lot of support on this planet for this this healing, which is mm-hmm. that time of, of the remembrance of the wholeness and holiness of who we really are. Very good. Brilliant. Um, oh, I, I mean, we could talk to you about so many different things, but my <laughs> main focus today was to talk about the EE systems, because um, I know so many people are are waiting on talking about them and you know it's take like I say it's taking its own momentum so I mean I can't wait for the time to come when I can experience that but I think meanwhile I will have to get a medallion to experience <laughs> yeah these are very easy <laughs> very yeah. very easy and very cost effective yeah. you know I think I sent you that picture of of, of um, Bishop Ernie Father Ernie you know, who was reporting the miracles. He had witnessed nine crazy miracles before I ever, before he was ever brought to meet me, just from the medallions. <laughs> and so, uh, you know, they're very cost effective. Mm. You know, they do like a five foot cocoon of, of healthy energy. Right. And you can put them around the bed and it creates, some, you know, people put them on yeah. wherever their issues are. And, but we get all kinds of wonderful reports. So, you know, oh, fabulous. Yeah. Um, yes, because there are a lot of other devices that, you know, different devices now coming through that yeah. are doing all, all sorts of things. But, um, you know, for people that want to start off easily, simply, without having to do anything, obviously, is to get a medallion. Yeah, and still work with it because you want to um, support the detox, you know, you can't expect to be super healthy if you're still poisoning yourself and quit paying to poison yourself because you're accountable for every dollar is a vote. What are you voting for? Are you voting for the people that have been poisoning us? Mm-hmm. <laughs> are you feeding them your money, your energy? We have accountability. So you want to buy organic, local, etc. grow your own foods. Uh, you know, do, you know, life comes from life. You don't get more aliveness by putting in more junk food. <laughs> Quite. You know, it's like, duh. But, and then I do want to mention, we do have, uh, I think there's two centers already lined up for the UK that I know of. All and right. I know that there's uh, systems already ordered and in process for fairly soon, maybe September going in 
so or so going in for Sweden and Switzerland and I think Netherlands. Uh, uh, there's a number of them. Israel. Um, there's a number of ones going in. And I believe UK may be going in at that same time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there's a lot in process, a lot mm -hmm. in progress. And Australia, of course, you already have two centers. Yeah. But the last I heard, there was about 250 units already ordered for Australia. Mm. Yeah. So. Andrew, Andrew, you haven't been listening to the show, mate. They're on the Gold Coast. They're in Sydney. I've just got up here. <laughs> um, people can find those on unifiedhealing.com or, or they're more at eesystem.com and just go yeah. to locations. Locations. Oh. Yeah. Just like you found it, Jeff. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't mind doing the forensic, mate. Um, <laughs> it's pretty easy. That's the one. Oh, I do want to mention we have a new email too for people that have been trying to get through because no, no, don't give them your email. You're going to get swamped. Don't do that. <laughs> I know info at EE system is one that got like, you know, 70,000 in the first three days. Um, so that one we're not using, right? <laughs> we're using <laughs> support, support at EE system.com or those that are ready to buy. It's the EE system at gmail.com the t h e the e e system yeah. at gmail.com yeah. and yeah. we have a different what is it called the what oh it's that the e e system the e e system at gmail and the other one was support at e e system and and with the uk we've had some funny things with your um customs over there <laughs> Really? <laughs> Our office had put Tiger's Eye medallion. Well, it got stuck in customs over two weeks because it might be an animal part. <laughs> so now we just put stones. Yeah. Or something. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> you know, rather than a tiger's eye, like this is a blue tiger's eye. I've had people go, this is a beautiful blue tiger's eye. We renamed it Hawk's Eye because people are going, how come my blue tiger's eye is not blue? Well, if you put in and look up what's a natural blue tiger's eye stone, it looks like this. It has this what, beautiful what's the other one you're wearing? What's the other one? This is pyrite. Yeah, no, I like, I like the pyrite. That looks nice. It's like a rose quartz. Mm. <laughs> and just getting up me now. <laughs> <laughs> so we've had some interesting things with the... Uh, <laughs> that we've dealt with. I was going to give you another. It's it's seven o two, the new office line. Um, yeah, here we go. Seven o two two one three seven four three five. Seven o two two one three seven four three five. By the way, if people also want to uh, do their own homework. You know, because I am a professor of applied integrative biophysics uh, for New New Earth University. So if they go to New Earth dot University and put in my name and or put in for um, intro to applied integrative biophysics, it's about a three and a half hour course with a workbook. If people wow. really want to know more, and I do that as a donation to New Earth University, we're contributing to creating those New Earth havens on the planet. So, um, unified healing is the other thing. It's really good because people can coordinate by location of who's coming, and they're going to need people to fill roles in those centers. And people are lining up, and every one of our system owners, when when Jason's interview came out, every one of them was getting 100 to 200 to more calls a day. So all of our system owners, all of our centers are just like booked. So, so we've been holding back a lot of the interviews until we get more, <laughs> until we get more centers in to send people to. But the call is. To, you know, it's needed everywhere fast everywhere fast yeah. uh, and that's and so unified healing is all is creating a platform for that but also for the centers it's a lot of um you know it, it protection in a sense i don't like to use the word protection 
because it's, it's creating such a global unified presence. Mm. Yeah. And okay, so this email address I've put up, what's that one for? The E system? The E, -E system at Gmail? The, what's that one yeah. for? The E, -E system at Gmail. That's yeah. for ordering a system. And, and people can use that 702-213-7435. And they can set up a Zoom conference to um, get everything, get all their questions answered and set them up with whatever they, they need that way. They can, call, they can literally call our office. We do have people <laughs> catch, try to stay on top of everything. <laughs> and you had another one called support or something, wasn't it? Yeah, support at eesystem.com. Yeah, there is a bit of a backward What's that one for? What's system. That one for? Uh, support, support at eesystem. That's just how to get our offices. We now have digital phone systems and <laughs> things like that. <laughs> and, oh, that's and, for yeah. Yeah, because people are, com you know, a lot of people are complaining. I mean, the calls were coming in one a minute. We only had one phone line, one office line <laughs> and then they're going we called we left messages how come you haven't called us back <laughs> it was just such a deluge so now we have a full team <laughs> you know okay. and we're moving to bigger facilities everything's systems and organized and uh, it's, it's been a lot to, to mm. deal with but it's all taken its own momentum you just want to heal the whole world you know yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Like Professor John Seal, mm -hmm. the Seal effect generator. <laughs> Seal effect generator. Yeah. So. <sighs> <laughs> right, okay. because it's ionizing and ozonating the air. So, yes, eliminates house dust. It, it kind of goes down. Except with ours, the fans on the on the computers will tend to bring in some of the dust, even though it's eliminating it in the room. It's purifying the air. It's purifying the water. They found in the initial clinicals it was purifying the water coming in from the city. I mean, it's <laughs> yeah, because it's reorganizing it. Um, in fact, very practical, the bracelet, you can put it on a bottle of water or hold it to, hold it to a bottle of water. You can, and it's really very, you know, me, for me growing up, everything was a science project. So you can hold it to that bottle of water or, or a glass of wine and feel when it gets heavier because of the effect on the hydrogen atoms. Mm, amazing. Like the hydrogen. It takes about 30 to 40 seconds. The scalar moves at 1.4 times the speed of light, superluminal velocity. Uh, so, but you feel the effects and it reduces the surface tension so dramatically. It's really profound on that Australian wine. <laughs> 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 or, or if you have champagne or, or you know, sparkling wine, uh, you can watch the bubbles get smaller and faster as you're reducing the surface tension. But what it does for wine, it's, it like brings it, to its highest potential yeah that's a, it's a great study <laughs> there's your there's your homework yeah. <laughs> you know it sounds to me you look like julius sumner milner now you're taking over his job <laughs> did you have him when you grew up did you have him julius sumner milner he used to do those little black and white little scientific things he used to be doing on the blackboard and talk about why is this so and oh okay uh-huh no you didn't have that when you grew up what was the name? Professor Julius Sumner Milner. No, we didn't have him. <laughs> oh, he's an American guy. Huh. Anyway. I don't know who that. Oh, well. Okay. I mean, I studied a lot of people's work. <laughs> no, no, he used to come out on TV. He used to do these little five-minute, little ten-minute, little science uh, projects. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, every <laughs> at every science project when I was growing up, everything was a science project. So. So this is a fun one, though, especially with the wine. Mm. <laughs> you know, that way you can have communion. But it reduces the surface tension, makes it very, very smooth, and it changes the the nose and 
and very, very quickly. But you can also taste the difference very easily with water and, and things like that. Yeah. So it makes water wetter. It's 28% reduction in the surface tension, so it makes water wetter, but it's also 28% increase in the electrical conductivity you know, mm -hmm. of the water even. So it, mm -hmm. it's restructuring and, and things like that very quickly, very efficiently. So these are really very handy little devices. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you know, this don't leave home without them. They're really yeah. good for flying. <laughs> we'll looking into that when we finish. Well, thank you very, very much. It's been an absolute delight and pleasure to have you on the show. So much information. I mean, I, I didn't do science at school, wasn't a subject I liked, but <laughs> my gosh, amazing. You know, what you're doing for humanity and what you brought into the world. It's absolutely phenomenal. So thank you, thank you, thank you for all what you're doing and what, you know, what is carrying on. Yeah, thanks for holding the space for this time for everybody on the planet. We just want to heal the world. The Great Awakening. You know, hey, um, coming. let me ask you a really dumb question. <laughs> why, did you, why did you come on our show? I mean, um, if the other one just swamped you. Uh, yeah, and I've put off... Why? Yeah, why us little? Why us down here? Um, and, why, and why not? Yeah, I don't know. No, I just wondered if Buddy Archangel Michael's lobbed up and said, "Hey, listen, um, <laughs> I've got yeah, because Adriel, I've, been, I've got I've Buddy off. Raphael here, we've got them all turning up, and you're gonna need to do this interview." Although. Yeah, I've been kind of putting off interviews, but um, but partly because it's going to UK and Australia primarily, although you know we can, you know, barely. Uh, you know, keep up with the, all the orders, but they, you know, the demand is there very, very much so. Uh, and people wouldn't be as ready for this time if we hadn't gone through what we've gone through this this last little bit. I mean, you, people used to think they were fine. Now people know they're not fine. <laughs> and they know that the, the medical system may not be where they want to go at all. <laughs> You know, because nobody's been drugged to health yet. Right. Right. <laughs> you know? And and the doctors are trained to treat disease. They're not trained in producing. How do you create health? How do you get super healthy? And so we've got to take and accept responsibility. You know, our sovereignty means being response. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Build respond rather than react out of fear patterns. We need to you know, come to, from our place of peace and power and respond to everything, but our responsibility for our own health. You know, if you don't have your health, what are you going to share with anybody? And health is the new wealth. I mean, if anything people have learned from this, that's the only thing that's really, really valuable. You know, if you don't have our health, what are you going to do? What good is your money? You can't take it with you. Nope. <laughs> Are you just going to give your money to the banksters? You know, it doesn't that doesn't make sense? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, so uh, it, it's just time. Thank you. And we just got to let people know that you've been a real trooper. I mean, unbelievable. Mm. People don't realize it's now what three o'clock in the morning. Oh. The morning. <laughs> you've done a fantastic job. I just can't yeah. believe it. Yeah. Oh, thank you for telling me that, Jeff. That well, when I was this buddy tell you the truth, we're like Simon Cow. I know. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I liked Australia too. <laughs> I, I like mean, you know, Simon Cow tells you as it is. I mean, that's, that's <laughs> Aussies, isn't it? we tell you as it is. Then you know, we're not not yeah. last mate. Thank you. Thank hey? you. <laughs> so, well, it's been really authentic. It's been awesome. And uh, anyone who's watching the replay, I think, thank you very much for taking the time i mean it's coming up for one hour 53 minutes it's the longest show we've ever done but i mean oh, it just goes to show you just how important um is resonating in it and um yeah it's part of the law of resonance the cells resonate and vibrate with the power of truth and it's mm. the truth that sets us free and through that law of resonance that's how we how we're going to come together and, and i'm quite sure if you go to uk andrina's there if you want to stop off for a a cup of and demonstrate to you and she can show you the <laughs> you can do a little ticky tour around that part of england and of course the same will go for australia if you, 
yeah. sure we can do a tiki tour around this part of the world yeah, yeah i love that go that gold coast was very very nice <laughs> beautiful <laughs> yeah under it yeah. yeah all right anything uh, else Andrina, no, baby? No, no that was lovely <laughs> i'm only aware of the time so uh, uh, thank yeah. you once again thank you so much you asked <laughs> ask and you shall receive it is thank the you. law i asked you know the clearer your question the clearer the answer you ask and you shall receive everybody needs to know that it is the cosmic law yeah what you ask for but the clearer the question the clearer the answer and um thanks for asking me to be on the show and thanks for having me and i even though i totally dropped off for a while <laughs> whoever was taking care of that got us back on yeah, indeed <laughs> i know we we had lived it we carried it on i um i like the fact that you talked about the christ within everyone you know i thought I think that makes perfect sense. So it just resonated with me to say that everybody's the Christ within themselves and it's just got to manifest it into this realm. And so everybody becomes Christ. And I, I, I'm sure you said that in some form and I, 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 that resonated with me really well. Yeah. We're the ones we've been waiting for. Exactly. Everything he did and more were to do. Let's get on with it. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. High five to you, babe. Very good. <laughs> yeah. Love it again. And yeah, and live long and prosper too. <laughs> yeah. oh. Aloha, you know? Aloha. Aloha. Yeah, you got it. All right. And um, All right. Just, we'll just finish off with this little statement. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Thank you. That's it. And um, good night.